My name is Ali Verbovetska. I am the web and mobile systems librarian at the City University of New York. What's unique about the City University of New York, I think, is that we have a whole gamut of students. So we have seven community colleges, we have 11 senior colleges, we have two special schools, which is the School of Law and the Journalism School, and we also have a PhD granting institution. So we have, you know, we have students all the way from community college level to the PhD level. And I think what's been great about Primo is that it's created a single product that everyone can use and that everyone can learn. For example, when community college students graduate from a community college and go on to one of the senior colleges, they have that same system, they're familiar with it. Many of our PhD students, they also teach at our CUNY colleges, so it's nice for them to have the same system at the different campuses. Some of our biggest benefits of using Primo include uh, higher electronic usage statistics. So our, we're seeing our numbers skyrocket, which is great. We're, we're paying for these resources. Um, it's, it's helpful that students are finding them. What's great about Primo right now and the, the fact that it harvests our ALEF data is the better indexing. So students are able to search for the title as it appears in their reading lists um, and actually get results. The developer network for MexLibris has a lot of customization options some of which we have implemented. So we use the AdWords plugin, which is really helpful at some of our campuses that are adopting it. So when users search for specific terms, they're able to go outside of Primo. For example, searching for library hours, um, they're taken to an external page outside of Primo. So that's helpful, especially in cases where the libraries are using it as their main search box. One of our librarians uh, has uh, reported that she's able to sometimes find amazing things in Primo that she was not able to find in other collections. So if she were to search uh, in the databases that she knew to search before, she would find certain results, but when searching Primo, she's finding other results that she wouldn't have, you know, thought she wanted. And so it's been great for that too. So that it's exposing these collections that we paid for, but the, were not necessarily used as well. What we're finding at the City University of New York is that Primo allows us to centrally manage all of our institutions through a single platform. So we are used to having you know, diverse systems. We have our Aleph system, we have SFX, we have EasyProxy, and I think Primo right now is allowing us to manage them all centrally. So as a consortia, it's important for us to have that flexibility to manage this, the actual administrative piece of it, but also allow some of the changes to propagate to the colleges so that the colleges still have their own control over things. We're also pulling in data from our newly uh, developed and born uh, institutional repository. So that's also something else. So it's great that we can also pull in other data other than Aleph and PCI. Going forward, I think what we'd like to do with Primo at CUNY is uh, include more local collections. So we have our institutional repository that's being pulled in, but our colleges also have unique digital collections. And so we would like to start harvesting those and making those available, uh, maybe to just those college users, but also to the university at large. So something that's discoverable to everyone at CUNY. And I think that's it's going to be our biggest project going forward. Mm -hmm.